All right, today we're gonna make some little wigs. Um, these aren't perfect, but they'll get you to the right area uh, for making some kind of foliage. I want to make some grass to kind of complement what we have here. So let's get started. The tools you'll need is Photoshop and GIMP or some kind of authoring. So software, Maya, Maya, whatever. Um, so we're gonna start off. We're gonna make 2048 by 2048 resolution doesn't terribly too much. I just leave it at the deep 72. Um, go ahead and do so. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and <clears throat> make a. Uh, a generic grass blade, so I'm thinking like uh, to use they have these cool clashes that I like. All right, there we go. Um, <clears throat> so you make it white, and I think that it'll be kind of interesting to make a. Uh, let's see. Of grass like this and see what happens. Never tried this before, so open up the base a little bit. That'll be pretty cool, actually. So um, now that we have a design, we're going to export as a PNG. Plant 2. So I want to have transparency to okay. Then go to desktop, go to foliage here to change this one's name to black G, just so I can tell the difference. Um, that our little guy made up here. We're going to head to Maya under <laughs> create a plane. It's good size plane. Personally, I'm just going to leave it as is. Time being. Plane. And we'll just make it 1-1 one, one, so there's no subdivisions. to assign a material to this. This Lambert, I want to select this little guy here, this color, file, change my file to plant two, parent background. So mine is flipped around, so that's an easy fix. We'll just object mode, grab it, and flip it. All right, so you'll notice uh, now that we have that, there's a little bit of artifacting up top from whatever, so we're not going to worry about that. Other than that, I'm going to duplicate it, change my direction sideways, grab both of them, uh, <clears throat> do an automatic UV that we need it, but I'm going to anyway. And then I also would like to, just to look how that looks, and so I would like to cut out so that we have this transparent background. Cut tool here. Going there. Grab the extra faces we don't need. Sweet. Done. So, and I'm going to... Let's rotate this that way. Make a bush plant, whatever this could be, right? Like it. Um, and I am just going to simply do combined on this. Actually, no, I don't want to do a combined. I like them individual. So I can do this in engine to export selection. To 
two. Content drawer, say plant two. So would like to this to my main folder and through that with you. This is my plant material. So in plant two, to first of all, drag my textures. Just curious how it looks. That out there. So we got our cards. Name this whatever you want, but I'm going to name it material too, just like so. Be both of these. <laughs> and then um be okay with that. What we're gonna actually do though is use um the pre I created here, this one. So I'm actually just gonna delete this outright because we don't um and then these I'm going to change to instance of this one. So I'm going to create a material instance. I'm going to call it MI2. Two. Two. Here. Let's go over this. So our material is made up of two colors, two color vector three colors. Uh, I just left them as black. To lerp that with a gradient and a gradient strength applied and saturated so that way we can have like green to yellow blue to red etc etc um, to the color specular and roughness parameters here uh, scalar parameters plugged up to both we have our texture sample that we can change at any time have a use uh, switch parameters so that way we can either have no texture or texture depending on what we're making that is hooked up to your opacity mask because we're going to use the black and white texture to mask out because so black is transparent and white is visible it can be colored by this we're going to have a simple grass wind and these parameters here and these parameters here will essentially modifiable to material instance. So now that we have that set up, our plant two material instance, we're going to change our deal here. So that's great. And then do is go here, select all of our stuff, color two, can change those settings or we can just put some randomness in here. So I'm thinking like a green color. Be good looking base. Um, and then as far as our texture is concerned, to right click on this and convert to parameter and to go to plant texture and then I would like to assign this to a color settings save that and that gives us our plant texture um, so we're gonna go to BG that's what I wanted have BG plant maybe some seaweed or something I'm not sure exactly yet. so and do that with this one and now we have like a, a weird little seaweed right so what I like to do is then grab both of these to actor to actors and merge. foliage plant two of plant two right so we have our individual blades, so if we would just want a single blade of grass or whatever, we can put that out. Grouping, we can put that out as well. So it's really easy. Foliage, 
and then grab our plant type in our asset. That is it. That's all it took. So now we can get our foliage there. Play. You can see uh, we have some weird little green plants now. Pretty straightforward. You can make any type of foliage plant like this. Uh, grass, um, flowers, seaweed, obviously we've done that. Best part is um, actually come in change the scale of these things by just simply changing the scale of this. That is that. That is how you make uh, some quick and down and dirty foliage.